<laughs> Yo, what up, what up? This is Big Brandon Carter, BBC. Uh, I know a lot of y'all seen my video about slut reps. If not, I'll put a link in the description where you can see, where you can check it out. I was talking about slut reps, and for those of you who haven't seen it, slut reps are like when doing a rep with awful form, maybe it's too much weight for you, or you just, uh, you're like, let, let's say you're doing a barbell curl, and you're moving your back and lifting your elbows up, uh, uh, and uh, you know, that's something, that's something, but it's not a barbell curl. You know what I'm saying? You're not isolating your biceps. You're fucking using your whole body to do that. It's something, but it's not a barbell curl. It's a slut rep. And the reason we call them slut reps is because they're worthless and anybody can do them. Anybody can do a slut rep, man. They're easy, man. So it's not something you can really take pride in. You or you shouldn't pride yourself in doing a slut rep, man. But you want to be doing reps with near perfect form. Bam. See my elbow? Staying stationary, and I'm not moving my back at all. Woo! Now that's, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm going up, controlling it on the way down. Power up, control on the way down. Now that's, that's a quality rep, man. That's a respectable rep. That's a rep you can take home to your mother. You know what I'm saying? That's a rep you can spend your whole life with, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a rep you can bring your kids around. <laughs> that's, a, that's the kind of rep that you're not afraid to be seen with in public. You know what I'm saying? A slut rep, man. I wouldn't want my kids see me doing those slut reps. I don't have kids, but if I did have kids, I, w I don't want them to know that Brandon was running around with these slut reps. I want them to think that their dad was messing with only was only messing with beautiful reps his whole life. You know what I'm saying? That's a brief summary of my slut rep concept. And I saw a lot of the comments where people were saying, "Ah, but what about cheat curls? Like, like you're doing good quality reps the first few, then the last two. On the last one or two, you use your back a little bit. I know Arnold recommended doing that. So the and so the cheat curl. First of all, it's called cheating. So just keep that in mind. It's called cheating. I know Arnold recommended, but uh. Most of you watching this probably aren't Arnold Schwarzenegger-ish. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go on a limb. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that most of y'all aren't qualified to compare yourselves to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And neither, neither am I. You know what I'm saying? All praise do. You got to understand when you're doing a cheat curl, all you're really doing is using your back to assist your bicep. So it's, it's like it, it'd be the same. It, so, it's like, it's, so it's really taking the load off of your bicep is making is actually making your bicep is lifting less because your back is lifting a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? Your back is lifting some of the weight, so your bicep is actually lifting less weight. It's reducing the, the load that's on your bicep. It's the same thing as like if you're doing a curl and your buddy pushes the bar up a little bit in the in the front. It's he's lifting some of the weight, so it's reducing some of the load on your on your bicep. I'm just using bicep as an example. It's the same concept for chest. Like if you're banging out some fucking uh, bench press and your buddy helps you out the last two, he's reducing the load that's on your that's, that you're carrying because his arms are assisting you. So the cheat curl is basically assisting you the same way. Your back is assisted by reducing the load. Your back assist assisting by taking some of the load off your bicep. Now what I think is better than the cheat curl is the drop set. It's the same concept. Let's say I take this weight, let's say I take this weight and I bang out as many respectable reps as I can Let's say that's failure. Ah, failure, all right? Instead of doing a bunch of cheat curls right now, all the cheat curl is doing is reducing the load on your bicep. Why don't I just literally reduce the load? Like reduce the load on the bar. Quickly take some of the load off the bar or have your buddy do it, you know what I'm saying? A little with a lighter weight, you know what I'm saying? Go to failure here. You feel me? I did, I just, it's the same thing as the cheat curl. It's the same thing as the cheat curl. All the cheat curl is really doing is reducing the load on your bicep. So I just reduced, reduced the load on my bicep by lifting less weight. It's the same fucking concept. But the only thing is it's safer, right? Because the cheat curl or the cheat anything, you're, you, you're more susceptible to injury. Doing a drop set, you, what you're doing is you're reducing the weight on the bar. Uh, fuck, instead of reducing the load, by doing slut reps or cheat curls, you know what I'm saying? With a slut rep of any kind, you're liable to hurt yourself. You, you're liable to get some kind of injury because you're doing shit with, with improper form. You know what I'm saying? You're liable to get hurt, man. And that's what happens when you fuck with these slut reps, man. You're, you're liable to get hurt. You might catch something, man. Catch something like a tendonitis or a pulled muscle. You know what I'm saying? You might catch a motherfucking FTD. 
know what I'm saying? Form transmitted disease. You know what I'm saying? Like tendonitis or <laughs> or pulled muscle or you know what I'm saying? You might fuck up one of your joints. You might fuck up your back. Herniated disc. All that shit. That comes from doing from messing around with these sluts, man. You gotta mess around with the respectable reps. So you don't get injury, man. You want to protect yourself from injury, especially a motherfucker like me, man. Like I'm old, I'm older than you fools, man. So I gotta be more careful. My body might not be as resilient as some of you young, you youngsters. You listen. Instead of doing the cheat curl, which is really a slut rap, <laughs> do the fucking do a drop set. I'm always uh, incorporating drop sets in my routine. I just think it's a uh, it's a good way to keep you the the increase the time that your muscles under tension. So you get the benefits of going heavy with your first few sets. Then as you drop the weight, you get the benefits of doing uh, higher reps. So you do heavy loads plus higher reps, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna increase your strength and you're gonna increase uh, hypertrophy, <laughs> Hyper hypertrophy, hypertrophy. You're gonna increase, and you're gonna, so you're gonna increase your strength and hypertrophy. <laughs> That's gonna help you put on some muscle mass. You know what I'm saying? So no slut reps, do drop sets instead, all right? Hope that helped. Oh, wait, before I forget, we got the new muscle mass. T-shirts, oh shit, that shit is clean, son. Shit is clean, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. We got the T-shirts, and we got muscle mass, tank tops, bruh. <laughs> Yo, this shit is clean, hold up. Hold up, man. I posted this shit on my Instagram and my Facebook the other day, and a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all went and bought them, man, that's what's up. A lot of y'all bought the muscle mass, uh, tank tops, T-shirts, we got long sleeve shirts too. We got shirts for men and shirts for the women. We got the baby tank tops for the women. You know what I'm saying? Listen, get you a tank top. They real cheap, man. We got them for cheap. Get you a tank top or a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt or whatever, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shit is clean, man. This shit is clean, man. Shit is clean, man. Yeah, man, get yours today. I'll put a link in the description, all right? <laughs>